okay, to find research articles that are relevant to your area of study. So to do this research, you need to go to Google Scholar and then you start typing your research here. Like I want to search using this string, like translation programs in the MENA region. I want to find the exact keywords. So what I want to do is that I can use these symbols like the apostrophes to find the exact keywords, click search. Okay, once I click search, I can come up with uh, the exact articles. Like this one is a new article that has been published recently, just this year. I can view this article. Okay, so this is a dissertation. It's called An Analysis of Translation Programs in Yemeni Universities in the Light of the Local Market Needs. A scholar, I can just go to this option, go back to the article, and I go to cite. And I can find the citation in different styles. Let's say the APA style, so I can just uh, copy this and paste it. But I can edit this because this is not the title. Um, I can do the editing of the title from the main dissertation. So I can just uh, copy and paste the title here. So some editing needs to be done because Google Scholar may not be accurate. Also Mendeley or Zotero cannot be accurate in terms of uh, uh, the titles or something like this from time to time. So this is how I can go about uh, the citation. And then I will start reading based on the notes. Like I say, Al-Mahalfi 2022 did a study on the analysis of translation programs in human universities in the light of the local markets or the local market needs, etc. So you can just uh, take this last name, the year of publication, and I start uh, writing. So I can do review of this study, uh, like in two or three lines uh, to see what the researcher did, what methods he followed, like he did interviews with undergraduate senior students along with questionnaires, and what are his or her main results, like he found that most university teachers or professors or students uh, may not be aware of the different techniques of translation, etc. This is how I can go about doing the review of literature. So uh, in articles, I need to, to reach what we call saturation. Saturation refers to uh, the fact that you keep uh, researching Tell you achieve all of your objectives, like no, let's say, no pieces of information uh, arises in the process. So this is what we call saturation because review of literature is like content analysis. So you keep doing document analysis of other studies and we use mostly the principles of recency, like recent studies within the range of five years. Why recency? Because this study, for example, will have investigated or will have surveyed previous studies. So this one will take us to other studies through, let's say, snowball sampling, etc. That's why we choose the most recent studies. Uh, for keyword search using Google Scholar, so I can use the, uh, the apostrophes or to locate the exact words, or I can use these functions like uh, or these coordinating conjunctions like and. So I want to see this one and, and then teaching. So I want to have translation programs in the MENA region and teaching. Okay, like translator training in the Arab world are curricula aligned with the language industry, translation problems and translation strategies. I start locating the most recent studies based on the recency and also based on the numbers of citations. Because those who may have, or those studies which may have a higher impact of, uh, let's say, on other researchers may have higher number of citations. Then I can use another string, is, which is OR. So I want to find studies that include 
translation programs in the MENA region or teaching translation, for example. So and means that we should have the two of them at once, but or we can have either this one or this one. So click OK, then we find more or less the same results. So this way can help us find the exact, uh, let's say, results of the articles or studies or, you know, theses or dissertations that are relevant to whatever we want to search. It's very quick. It's very easy. You can cite any study here. Uh, you can have a folder on your laptop in which uh, there are the studies that need to be, let's say, reviewed. Okay. So this is it in brief. And uh, uh, sometimes just one study can lead us to different studies by reviewing one study and that's enough rather than finding a lot of studies and doing a lot of work because that study, for example, may itself cite other studies and uh, you will find some authors that keep being cited that may be influential in your area of research or the topic of research that you are investigating. 